This is the 45th time that I've tried to record this video. And every single time something goes wrong and I don't upload it. I either don't like the footage, don't like what I said, the camera cuts off, the footage gets deleted. The last time I tried to record it was a year ago, 2021, January. And then before that, I recorded it twice in 2020 um, to basically let you guys know where I was because I knew that I was taking a break. I knew that I needed time off. I just didn't know how to articulate it properly. But now that I feel like I've gotten myself together, I'm back. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. <laughs> If you're new here, hi, my name is Vicky, uh, Vicky Logan. I am just a little small town girl. Well, I'm not a girl anymore, I'm a woman. But I am from Fort Worth, Texas, and I moved to Chicago eight years ago to be with my husband because I got married at the age, the ripe age of 22. So I've been a content creator, a YouTuber, an Instagrammer, all of those things. I've been on the internet sharing my life for the past 12 years now. Um, and I needed time away, so I took time away. And I took two years off, basically, to grow. Because I felt like, personally, I felt like I never got the opportunity to really grow. I spent most of my 20s recording and sharing my life, thinking in content. And when you're a content creator, when you are constantly making content, everything is content like your whole when you're a lifestyle in particular when you're a lifestyle creator everything is content your whole life is content so everything that i do throughout the day from the time i open my eyes to the time i lay down lay my pretty little head to rest all those hours that i'm awake i'm spending time thinking about how to make whatever i'm doing shareable and when you live a life like that it starts to feel like you're a zoo animal from the time i was 18 until around the time i was 27 28 i recorded pretty much everything and was posting pretty much everything about my life that was exciting um funny even the, some of the personal stuff i was sharing like i was sharing a lot of personal stuff i was sharing like everything I was going through from the time I turned 18 until now basically and I never really gave myself the chance to really live in the moment and so around 2020 which was a rough year for all of us if we want to be real um around 2020 was around the time that I decided okay I'm almost 30 and I don't feel like myself and so I was 28 and I was like okay you know, everything that was going on in the world, obviously that year was crazy. Um, it just took a toll, especially when we had to be on quarantine and I had to sit in the house and like just look at myself all day. It really like put things into perspective for me and I decided I was not gonna upload anymore if I didn't feel good on camera. Like if I didn't feel presentable and not to say that I felt ugly or not beautiful or whatever. It's just if I didn't feel like and I always said this to myself, my dad told me this too, it doesn't matter how much money you make, if you are unhappy, quit. And that's what he told, that's what my dad told me. Now y'all can blame him for me leaving YouTube for so long. <laughs> it doesn't matter how much money you make, it doesn't matter how much success you've made, because quite frankly, I made it, I did make YouTube a huge part of my brand as who I was. Um, like I'll be on TikTok and people will be like, oh my God, I used to watch your videos. And I'm like, wow glad you know I'm alive <laughs> um so it's just a little awkward because it's like I know that there are so many people that I left hanging because I don't make videos anymore um well, I wasn't making videos anymore but I just remember that being in my head like if I'm not happy I'm not doing it and I wasn't happy and I, I believe honestly truly I believe that being a content creator is just being in a fancy cage you're still in a cage it's just fancier than being in like a corporate environment or something you know um and it's like we chose this for ourselves so why <laughs> why does it seem like i'm forced why does it seem like i'm still enslaved to something and so i took the time away i decided in 2020 i was like i'm just gonna do what feels right and what felt right was not recording i felt like every time i set a camera up i did not feel like myself i didn't feel comfortable um so i took that year to really like take inventory on myself 
because I had started to feel like my life wasn't mine and I don't know there's just so many different reasons why I needed to take time away one I needed to heal from a lot of emotional trauma that happened to me because of YouTube and I'm not just talking about like oh people were bullying me online no like there's a lot of things that happened behind the scenes with YouTube could that, that kind of tied into YouTube a little bit that I needed to heal from just friendship trauma and friendship issues and things that happened you know like people that I was sharing and things like that it just kind of felt like the lines were blurring you know what I mean like it felt like it didn't feel good because I, I remember like there's so much of my 20s that I don't remember for myself I just remember the edited final cut version like the version that y'all saw the version of my life that y'all saw online like the vlogs and like the videos i remember that um but the stuff that i edited out the stuff that i didn't like so much i remember it but like i know i wasn't present in the moment to really to really process that you know um and so 2020 was me processing all of that me processing the things that i felt like i didn't really process in the moment because it takes me a while to process things anyway i am not a person who shows a lot of emotion outwardly so i never really get emotional about things in the moment anyway and so like i have to take time to really think about things and process them logically in order for me to feel something um unless i'm really hormonal and then like i feel everything uh but i really needed time to process now that i'm 30 looking back i spent so much of my 20s holding a camera recording everything trying to make everything look good to me and to everybody else and then also me having to edit myself regardless of what i was talking about or sharing just me editing myself every single day hours upon hours editing video of myself i don't think you understand when you edit yourself all the time like that whether it's you being real or not you're still editing yourself it's not like i was uploading videos of my raw life you know what i mean like unedited and unfiltered it's like no i was editing myself taking out parts that i had to judge myself based on what i felt like was appropriate um based on okay people might say this if i say that so let me edit that out people might it's like i'm like having a conversation with invisible people not that y'all don't matter but there are lots of people who watch these videos right and i'm like having a conversation with them in my head in my subconscious mind about who i am over time that did create a little bit of not a self-consciousness but just like an awareness of self that was so particular i couldn't really be me fully because i was being an edited version of myself there is there's a whole dynamic to being a hyper visible person who is whether you're a celebrity you're on social media you're an influencer wh whatever if you have a lot of followers a lot of people watching you all the time it's gonna take a toll on you at some point if you don't take a break i felt like i needed to really take time away to process i felt like all right i'm about to be 30 i need to reflect and i need to really be okay with me and let go of all of these things that i thought were what i was supposed to be by now the expectations i had for myself the expectations other people had for me i needed to really solidify my relationship with god and like really talk to him about what was going on with me and just prepare for the next decade of my life because i knew my 30s were going to be way different than my 20s and so i wanted to be prepared for that mentally so when the pandemic hit and 2020 happened i decided to take that time away um and i will say it's been very eye-opening in that time we started the podcast cam left his job my husband cam left his job of 10 years um to kind of help me do social media and like we're, we're trying to make this more family oriented so that one i'm not fighting for my life by myself <laughs> on social media and two it gives more of a sense of reality we're building something for our family which is great and i loved having the podcast if you guys haven't seen the podcast first of all there's so many things i gotta update y'all on i turned 30 the podcast yeah so if you guys don't know me and me and my husband cam we made a podcast and we talk all about relationships um with people with each other uh our relationship with god like everything we talk about um we've shared a lot of our what we've learned in our 20s through like our relationship and our marriage 
um and so like that was really like therapeutic for me in a way because i was able to like go through okay what have i learned what have i really grasp what concepts you know like what what who have I become over this last decade that I've been with this man and I moved away from my family like what have I really learned like what have I experienced and going through all those experiences and really talking through everything really was therapeutic for me it helped me so much and if I encourage you guys to go watch the podcast if you want to know more just about our relationship and what we've been through um the things that I never really talked about um, on YouTube that kind of caused me to get off of YouTube for a while um, but yeah like I feel like I've I'm back now because I feel a lot better about who I am you know what I mean like I'm very much solidified in who I am as a person I think um, my developmental years have come to my prime because there's like you're always developing over time you know like you're still gonna develop but your third your 20s are like those pivotal years where you're like developing a lot and you're learning a lot because you're learning how to be an adult right um so now that i'm out of that phase i feel so much better i feel grown i feel like i kind of got a handle on this a little bit like i know me i know what i like i know what i want i'm not like second guessing myself all the time like no this is it this is me this is what you go get and that's it and i'm not afraid of that anymore i'm not afraid of who i'm becoming i'm not afraid of what future has for me um and what god has for me in the future you know what i'm saying like i'm not scared to talk about stuff i'm not scared to be open about stuff i'm just me this is it this is what you go get okay yeah there's just a lot of different things that i learned and like i said i highly encourage you guys to go watch the podcast if you want to know more because i'm not going to share all that in this video but just know 2022 happy new year by the way just know 2022 is gonna be the year where i come back to youtube and I'm just gonna be me and it's gonna be kind of like it was before like it's gonna be a little bit of what I used to do I am still gonna do a little bit of beauty stuff sorry if I keep touching my hair but it's like all in my eye but I am gonna do a little bit of what I used to do I am going to be doing some beauty stuff update you guys on my health um give you guys a little bit of insight on what you missed um as far as that goes and sharing like things I like and of course I'm gonna do all that but I also feel like it's gonna be a little more grown and a little more like it's not gonna be like me doing chit chat get ready with means all the time and you know what I mean like that I feel like that ship is kind of sailed for me um I just want to share what I like you know what I mean like I just want to be here because I just want to share with y'all what I like you know and so I definitely think that you guys should stay tuned because I do have some great ideas of things that I want to do um on this channel and if you guys are not already be sure to subscribe to the vlog channel because we are going to be vlogging a bit more um we do have really big things we want to do this year so stay tuned to the vlog channel because we are going to be taking you guys through a couple different journeys one of those being finally moving out of this house this year i'm just speaking it is the year okay we started the process in 2020 um, but we're finally at a place where we feel like we can hop back on that train. We did do some renovations and are still working on some renovations in this home. So I'll be documenting that on the vlog channel as well. So yeah, and any other things we be, do we be doing, anything, any other things we will do um, regarding the home stuff. But also just, I mean, if y'all like to watch vacations, y'all know we love to go on trips. So that's going to be on there as well. We've been on lots of trips in 2020 and 2021 despite the pandemic so you guys should definitely check that out and then also like i said podcast because more of the sit down kind of talking giving advice that kind of thing is going to be mostly for the podcast because we do all of that over there so check out my tiktok because i have been more active on tiktok stay up to date on my instagram because we do love to share things on instagram still not really on twitter anymore twitter was bad for my mental health i took a lot of time off twitter and i really haven't got back on yet like i don't really get on twitter at all it was one of those I had to cut some stuff out of my social media diet in order to be mentally sane. Twitter went first and then YouTube. <laughs> That's all. I just really wanted to say hey and sorry that I left y'all hanging, but I'm back. And I hope you guys are excited. Don't really care if you're not, because I am. <laughs> I'll talk to you guys in my next video. And that's it. We out. <laughs>